Okay, welcome back to this new lecture. I'll show you how to deploy your soft cluster in your Proxos environment. Okay, so to achieve that, we have some prerequisites that, we, that you should be uh, sure that uh, they are met, that are met. A network path, okay, and the drive path. You should be sure that we have some driver in your available, okay, like in this one, okay, to have some driver available. Otherwise, you, you, you will not be able to create new USB in your cloud cluster. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is it. And let's move on. Next step, first step uh, to, for our deployment okay, is to go to this uh, self level. Okay. And from there, you have to fill the button install self. Okay. I will, shoot, I will use of the, the version Pacific uh, 16.2. This is uh, my target version. That I, I intend to install. The installation will be here. We start, we start, and I choose. I will, the next session, it will be to, sh to choose the, the networks for my self cluster. Okay, I have to choose the uh, public network and the self cluster network. Okay, next. Now I have to choose the public network. Let me do that. So the public network will be the first data, the other 60. Okay. And uh, my uh, self cluster network will be the uh, second network. Okay, so let's do that. And finish up the installation. Uh, by default, you can see the health is okay, but uh, rapidly the, 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 this issue will change because of uh, the number of USD or the, the number of uh, nodes that has been requested by Cephal is not met at the moment. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the, the health has been changed. Right now, the, we don't have enough uh, USD in the cluster, so due to that, all this. Uh, has been, has been updated. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, next steps for us will be to install also self uh, cluster uh, and on our self on address nodes. Okay, let's do that. The same thing. Pacific. Yes. Yeah, next up. Okay, Con contribution already in initialized. Okay, so you should see. Yeah, I can finish it. Now I will have to do the same things for other nodes. Okay, install the self. Exactly the same thing. Yeah, okay. So the same thing for her. So all nodes that should install those packages. Because I need all those hypervisors to be a part of our self cluster. Okay, so it is. Due to that, uh, I'm obliged uh, to add uh, to install the different uh, set packages from this one. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, next step. And the last one. Okay. Next step, yeah. So now the, the different packages have, have been or, or installed on all those nodes, and our cluster has been initialized. So we, we have this final the public network and the cluster network. Okay, so right now we are good. Okay, the next step will be to have the different OSZ to work cluster or create a different OSZ based on the different drives that we have in the cluster. Okay. So if we achieve that, we have just to go to let's do that here in the OSD part and create an OSD. Okay, so you have many drives there, empty drives, okay, that are that has been added on our during our preview video. So let's create OSD OSD based on this uh, on those drives, okay. So first OSD will be your uh, create. We'll do it, the same thing for the app for others drives where we intend to create an OSD based on those drives. Okay, let's
Yeah. So right now, all OSD are being created based on Go different types. Okay. And uh, the next step is to have a view uh, on the monitor. Okay. The monitor is down. Yeah. Yeah. Here. As you can see, by default, after the initial installation, the installation have created uh, the monitor, one monitor and one monitor. Okay. So we can create a you can have others monitor in the cluster. Okay, it's up to us. You can create up uh, three monitors, five monitors, seven monitors. Definitely, it's up to us. Okay, so what I uh, will do, let's create a other monitor on the this node, for instance. Okay. That shows that it's possible. Create a other monitor. Okay, let's create uh, the second, uh, the third monitor. Okay, let's create uh, a another monitor on the B1 node. And uh, let's create again. Another one. Width. Okay. So now we have created five monitors in the cluster. Okay. Same thing for managers. Let's create a other manager in the cluster. The second one. Okay. And the third one. Yeah. As you can see, we have one active uh, apples uh, standby okay so right now our self cluster is the health of self cluster is uh, our cluster is healthy okay so as you can see the, the cluster is healthy because we have more than uh, we have at least uh, three nodes and at least uh, three OSDs in our self cluster okay so right now the deployment of the uh, self uh, back in storage of personal cluster is, uh, is successful the next step is to use it, okay, by creating a new virtual machine, virtual machine on our cluster. Okay, so thank you very much. Take care and uh, bye from now.